Howdy folks! This video is for those of you who are building a trommel or maybe already have one operating in the field. I just want to bring to your attention uh, the motor here it has these two motor mounts down here that actually have a potential of shearing. I've had that happen twice now in the past couple of years and so I have a fix for it. So I'll go ahead and take this motor off and I'll give you all the details and we'll see how we can fix it so that way you don't have this happening in the field yourself. All right. Okay, let me uh, explain to you what's kind of happening here. Uh, the motor mounts are these little holes right here, and then this is the motor mount part that's sheared, okay? And it just fits right, uh, excuse me, get the orientation correctly. It just fits right into here like that, and so that's what's sheared off. Now, this is just cast aluminum. You can see the, the details here, and there's not a whole lot of uh, gusseting between where this part here fits onto the mounting bracket of the trommel and this section here. There's really very little... Uh, gusset. In fact, I'll just kind of get the camera angle just right. You can kind of see that, okay? And there's not a whole lot of gusseting going on in here. So I'm, uh, you know, so therefore it's shearing. If you flip it over to the other side here and show the back side, you can see this is the area here. There's not a whole lot of support. And you can see on this side where it's sheared, let me just get the light and the camera on it just about right. Uh, there we go. You can see where this uh, thing fit right into here like this. And so this is where it's sheared off. So there's not a whole lot of support on this at all. So what I'm going to do is try to modify this uh, to improve the situation. So we're going to go ahead and take the, um, take the driver head off here first and then move on. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take the uh, arm off here. We'll just undo the nut. Take this guy off, grab this with a pair of pliers, pop that off too. Okay, so now we have a clear view of the surface that we're working on, all right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to try to help uh, improve the uh, structure across this uh, cast aluminum plate so that way it doesn't fracture. So what we're gonna do is simply lay these washers on here and we'll glue them down with JB Weld, okay? So, and these are half inch washers that I picked up at the uh, hardware store, so they just happen to fit right on there perfectly. Now, before we get to that part, uh, you can kind of see here, there's like a little bit of a spine right here on both sides. It gives, I guess it gives it a little bit of support, but it really doesn't do a whole lot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grind these down. I'm just gonna use a simple file and uh, so that way the washers, when they fit right on top of here, will fit nice and flush. And that way we'll actually be able to uh, displace the load a little better versus just this little bit right here and here. We'll be able to displace the load more out into this area of the plate. So that way it, uh, it'll hopefully be able to handle it and not uh, fracture in the future. Okay, so what we're going to do first is uh, just put this fractured uh, component back on, and then we're just going to lay a washer on here best we can. And this will give us a rough idea. We'll take a pencil here, just kind of draw an area where we're going to need to file. So we're probably going to need to file this little spine down, probably about to here, just to give us a little extra room. And then we'll do the same for this side here too. We'll just go ahead and draw around here. So that way we've got a rough idea. And so the spine itself is going to be probably cut to here. All right. So I also have everything mounted in a vise here. It just makes it a little easier to hang on to while uh, we're working on it. So now the next thing we'll do is uh, we'll take out <clears throat> these uh, couple of screws right here because they're kind of in the way. And so we'll pop this out. And we'll put this in the bucket. And same with this one. Okay, there we go. All right, now what I 
there's several different ways you can do this. If you got a, a Dremel tool and grinding stone and stuff like that, or a grinder, uh, yeah, you can go ahead and grind this off. Or I just simply use a file. Uh, you know, I just use this edge here. It's got some teeth on it. I can just get right down in there and grind it off. It uh, seems to work pretty good. I actually like it. I tried the Dremel tool on it with the with the sanding disc and the coarse disc and all that, and it didn't work as well. But all we're going to do is we're just going to simply file this down and it just takes just a few minutes and we just want to file it down so it's absolutely flush with the back plate all right down pretty close here. You have both of them all nice and filed down and smoothed out. You want to make sure you run your fingers over it, make sure there's no ridges or anything. Make sure it's making a good smooth flat surface for the washers to glue on to. All right, I think we're done. There we go. The washer is fitting in there fairly flat, nice and smooth, no issues. Before we go any further, I want to actually mount this piece back on to the uh, to the motor here, and so I've just got a little bit of JB Weld mixing right here. So I'm just going to put a little dab on here onto the surface, and because it's casting, it's kind of coarse uh, when it fractures like this, and so it actually makes it a little easier to work with. So you can get it set in there just right. So I'm just going to glop on enough of that JB weld there and it's going to bring it on down here to the to the mount now it's okay if the if the if the JB weld uh, you know resin uh, spills over and beads up like that because we'll we'll grind all that stuff down later on that's not a, that's not a problem so we just want to get that thing mounted on there just right and we also want to kind of clamp it down so I just whatever you've got if you got a uh, this is just a simple carpenter's clamp I'm just going to slowly tighten that on there so it'll just kind of be a little snug give it something to hang on to there we go all right very good okay so we'll let that cure and then we'll come back and uh, finish with the rest of the project. All right, looks like this is cured, so I'll go ahead and release the uh, clamp. And we can go ahead and kind of file down all the excess that's here of the JB Weld. Kind of clean that off a little bit. It won't matter if we have just a little bit of a lip because the the stuff that we're going to lay down will uh, accommodate for that. All right. Okay, it looks like that's on there pretty darn good. So now we're going ahead and uh, get ready to set up our washers. Before we glue the washers, I just want to uh, rough them up with a Dremel tool here. That just makes it easier for the JB Weld to make good contact with it. And we'll do it for both the uh, front and the back side. The back side might have a little berm or a little rim on it, so we want to make sure we grind that down so that way it doesn't interfere and then we'll just kind of rough them up all right we'll do that for all the washers and then we'll be ready to lay them down on there all right so just mixing up a batch of jb weld here Let's we'll put that on the on the washer. Just get a nice little thin coat going here. Doesn't have to be really super heavy. We'll also uh, put a little down here on the uh, frame as well. Just kind of dab it on. Okay, 
We also want to put it around the, uh, the collar here too. So that way it makes good contact with the, you know, in between the washer hole and the, uh, the outer surface of this. So we'll just dab that on really good. All right. Okay. And we'll just set that one on there. And we'll go ahead and lay the other one right on top of that. Give it a little extra here. We'll just squish it on in. Okay, and we'll just kind of press down a little bit just to kind of push it down. And if we get any excess, that's fine because we'll just uh, eventually we'll be grinding it off. So let's just go ahead and put some of that on there. And then what we'll do is I've got a, like a little um, C clamp and a piece of uh, angle uh, aluminum that'll just kind of fit right over there. And then we'll just slide the C-clamp over it. And that'll just kind of give it some pressure while it cures. Get that in there lined up just about right here. Sorry, folks, I'll get my hand out of the way. So we'll just slowly ease up the ease on the pressure here. That way we get the glue to kind of really smear around it. And so it's looking pretty good. It's on there pretty tight. We've got a nice little bead going around the edge here. So that's what we want. We want to see a nice bead around the edges. So that's really good. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do the same thing for the other side as well. Okay, and we got the other side in. So now we're just going to wait until they all cure, and then we'll take it all apart. So we let it cure overnight, so we're ready to go ahead and take off uh, the clamps here. Pop them loose. Do the same for the other side. All right, and there we are, it's looking pretty good. Now we do have a little bead here of uh, glue sticking up, so we'll go ahead and kind of take care of that. We'll just grind that down with a Dremel tool to smooth it out, and then we'll be ready to go here. the other side okay good and I think we're pretty well done and we're ready to take this out and mount it back on the trommel let me just take it out of the vise here so we can get a better look at it all right and there it is okay and there's the other side there we got some glue in fact it wouldn't hurt to probably put up uh, more bead of glue around the edges here on both sides of the ring this is the one that was broken on this side over here so it wouldn't hurt to actually put you know more glue in this and everything to beef it up a little bit more but this is on here pretty darn solid so i don't think it's going anywhere so but there it is so now we're ready to go ahead and put our arm back on and uh, get everything mounted up and put it back onto the trommel All right, so we got everything all mounted in there. Everything's turning just fine. So we're uh, ready to take this back out of the field and get some gold. Thank you for watching, folks. Till next time. Bye.